Hey y'all, what's going on guys, it's Sebastian, and today I'm going to be viewing this 4x4 truck. So yes, I'm, I bought this, so one cool feature right off the bat is we have these. These are really useful because they are attached to bungee cords, which keep them on the hood. And before, I had another car like this. And these were not attached to the car itself, which were really difficult because I did not want to lose these. Because imagine a car just driving without its hood. I mean, it would still drive, but it wouldn't be as cool. Uh, we have some in the back. Nice texture, nice detail. It has like the little things here. So it's a 4x4 truck. I'm sure you saw by the things like right like right here it says full by pool so if i take off the hood it says this right here don't just bash blast and that's because this truck is really strong so the guy said that this was really strong and it could take a real beating so he actually tested that by bending it i can't do that Sorry if that made a lot of noise. Um, I can't really do that because this is, like he said, this is a really strong, really strong. 4x4, uh, four four, stuff like that. Yeah, it's really, we got 4x4. Four four. So, 4x4, four four, uh, there's one here. There's another one on the other side. Two in the front. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any other, but nice show. And we have the things here. My, the suspension. The suspension. My favorite part. I can even raise this and make and buy bigger tires if I want. But for now, I like sticking with these. Like, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Do you think I should change these? Or should I keep it like this? And But I'm definitely going to raise the suspension one day. We have a bumper here that does affect it. Uh, you, we have a huge back bumper, which is pretty extended. We have a tub right here, which allows water to go up to here, but I think it's already pretty high. We have the receiver here. This, I think, powers the receiver? I don't know. It, let me know in the comments if you know what this is. The battery goes here. It's charging. This is a motor. This is the motor. This thing goes 30 miles an hour. So if you're wondering why it has to go so fast if it's an off-road car, well, it needs a strong engine to go off-road. And the stronger the engine, the faster it goes. There's one that goes 50 miles an hour. And the fastest car is actually a sport car. But if it wasn't if it was an off-road car, then oh it would master the mountains like it's nothing. Also, we have this thing here. I'm not sure what this is called either. I think it's a solid axle, but whatever this is, it makes the car a 4x4. So if I start moving this, it moves it in the direction. Uh, left and but backwards and forwards. Sorry if I was, I was gonna say left and right, but n no, I didn't say that. So uh, we got the normal steering of the tires. This one goes pretty far left and right. I like it. I love how like it has all the things here. We have the the turning things. All oh, it's connected to the tires. I can even screw screw these out. As you can see the little bolt there. We have these. These are what keep the shell in. And here are the fenders, which do not really do much because as you clearly see, there is a little like a bit of weed because I took this car truck off roading and a lot of weed got in. These little holes have been nothing but trouble. Every um, All kinds of things have been getting in. We had to turn the car upside down to get all the dust out. The tires are dirty right now, but I'll clean them later. So, not really much about this. There was, like, um, like five things. There was the motor, this thing, which I think powers the receiver or does something to it. This little cover is what keeps it from drowning because in the, in the box, it said that this... And the receiver and the motor were waterproof. The battery is also waterproof. So this is what's this is what the waterproof is. Yeah. Waterproof. 
But yeah, I really like this. The fenders do not work really well. We have a handle here to pull it up. And it can also go over a rock the size of your fist. So if I lift it up and I put it on my fist, don't worry, this doesn't hurt. You can see that all tires are touching the ground. And that's from the suspension. Good work, suspension. So, yeah, it's a cool 4x4 four four truck. I uh, One thing I love about trucks is that they have a huge space in the back, but this one doesn't have it, so it's fine. But I can't even make this to a normal city truck. So I can lower the suspension here, and then I could change it to normal racing tires, I guess. I could change it to racing tires, because why not, but... I love off-roading cars and trucks, so I'm staying with that. Uh, it's not really that dirty, but yeah, I love it. I just love it all. Uh, let me know what your favorite part was in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!